So let's talk about this mandate surge. Let's talk about what's going to happen to you and to your family and all of this. And I just want to remind you, as we look at tough times coming ahead for many of us, especially many people in my audience, I just want to say to you that um, you may or may not recognize that you live by the grace of God. You may think that you're in control. I, I thought it was really funny. <laughs> I don't know the song, but I know the title. Uh, Jesus Take the Wheel. And when I heard that, it's kind of like, you know, the old, there's another old song, you know, God is my co-pilot or whatever. It's like, no, he isn't your co-pilot. Uh, he's flying the plane that he built, <laughs> that he maintains. Uh, but when you, <laughs> you say Jesus take the wheel, what I think of is, uh, you know, you have these uh, shopping carts for moms who have young kids, toddlers or whatever. <clears throat> and... Um, and they can be very effective up to a certain age because they've got a steering wheel that you can just turn around and around and around. It's not connected to anything. It's just a bolt holding the thing on. You freely turn it. It's not turning any wheels, right? You know that. You've seen those things. You put the toddler in there, and it keeps them busy because they're driving that thing. And I can just imagine, and this is kind of what I always think of when I hear this title, Jesus Take the Wheel. I think it was Carrie Underwood who had that, uh, if I recall. Um, yeah, there you go. There's one of them. But so where, where's the wheel? <laughs> I guess you put the kid inside of that thing. Yeah, it's up there. Okay. Uh, so I can imagine, you know, this, this kid is driving, uh, quote unquote, driving the shopping cart throughout the grocery store. And it's been a long shopping trip. And this kid is just frustrated and, you know, just can't, it's just tired. And just turns to mommy and says, um, uh, mommy, you're going to have to take the wheel now. I can't do this driving anymore. And mom smiles just like Jesus. <laughs> you were never driving. I got to say that, uh, you know, we've had, uh, we've gone from riches to rags in our life. And I would say that both Karen and I would say it's the best time of our life. And we would, if we had a time that we could live over again, that would be it. Because We were able to see that God provides. He provides just enough, just in time. So, keep that, keep that in mind. Corporate state declares all-out war on the unvaccinated. I like that headline from the Daily.